Hello guys, my name is Biscuit and welcome back to my channel or if you're here for the very first time, hi, welcome in. Today we are reacting to the usual suspect. I think I said it right. And uh, the movie is coming after a little challenge from my Patreons to do detective base, I guess. I'll probably fail, maybe I'll get it, I don't know, but I was told that it's like a, it's like a mystery case or something in between the, these lines. They were not really explicit with it, but you know, they let me know that it's a, uh, let's see if you get it, you know, a challenge kind of thing. And I, I do love it, I'm a very competitive person. So I'm looking very forward to this. I, uh, I mean, I hope I'll fix it. I mean, I, I hope I'll discover it, I hope I'll do right. But if I don't, it's fine, it's a movie reality. Action. I think the most important is to enjoy and try our best to relax and have fun with it and you know just watch a movie you guys have been recommended and suggested. Don't forget to like and subscribe of course if you want to see the full length reaction you can find it on Patreon. And uh, yeah that's it. I have coffee, I have water, we are ready to go. So let's go! Crime movies are definitely an interest of mine. Okay. That was P. That was P, guys. You're not allowed to die. You shall not die by P. That's a knife in the back. I'm gonna try to like take a notice of all of the details that are being given. How you doing, Keaton? I can't feel my legs. Kaiser. Kaiser and Keith. Keaton. Keaton and Kaiser. Hey, what time is it? 12.30. I feel like the subtitles are a little bit behind. Just a tiny bit. Okay. I like the instrumental. What are they like showing? Focusing on to? It all started back in New York six weeks ago. Sometimes that's all you need. A voice. We got a voice. Okay, let's see. Mr. McManus? Christ, don't you fucking guys ever sleep? We have a warrant for your arrest. Fuck you, pig. We know that the pig is a, a bad, like a disrespectful way of saying pig. police officer. Who wants to know? New York Police Department. Police! Hold it! Sure you brought enough guys? <laughs> so we are doing some arrests. But for what? I really liked his way of Don't be suspicious, don't be suspicious, don't be suspicious He failed, he was very suspicious At least I had to see for myself Dave huh. I'm in a meeting Time for another one These gentlemen are from the New York Police Department Small matter of a stolen truck loaded with guns this is the guy that died at the beginning, yes? Keaton. Will you excuse us for a moment? The one who didn't feel his legs. What did happen there? I don't know. It didn't make sense that I'd be there. I mean, these guys were hardcore hijackers. All right, you all know the drill. When your number is called, step forward and repeat the phrase you've been given. Understand? Number one, step forward. Because they they knew someone Hand by the, the voice. Keys, you fucking Number three, step forward. <laughs> I like it how they all put uh, their spin on it, you know? How many keys? In English, please. <laughs> Number four, step forward. <laughs> what the fuck? Shit. The whole rap was a setup. Hand me the keys, you fucking cocksucker. They drilled us all night. Somebody was pissed about that truck getting hijacked and the cops had nothing. I mean, our rights went right out the window. It was a violation. I mean, disgraceful. The truck with the guns. The crazy one, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. McManus. Oh, they're trying to put them against together. each other. Oh, I don't want to but when it came to the job, he was right on. A smart man. Answer my question. And you hit me in the back. Hello? I want my lawyer. I live in Queens. Oh, Did you put what that a together surprise. yourself, Einstein? <laughs> game of monkeys working around the clock on this you know what happens if you do another turn in the joint with what you know damn well dead man and i thought romanians were swearing a hard for them for obvious reasons it was your mistake not mine because he has money 
Yeah, what's that, the restaurant business? Now you charge me with this shit. Let's get back to the truck, asshole. Well, that's it's definitely against the rights. I did a little time. I think they call the man the rights uh, uh, or something uh, like this. I ain't got a criminal. You are a criminal. <laughs> you gotta go and do that. But why don't you make your point? Where'd I got as you hung up your spurs, man? What's that all about? He What's was this? his old personality was that, I guess. You're a lawyer's wife. What kind of retainer are you giving her? Whoop. Dean Keaton. <laughs> Can't clean, huh? It's always you and four dummies. PD are paying homeless guys ten bucks a head half the time. And what's, what, what's what is the one? fifth one, though? The defender could get you out of that one. So why the hell was I strip search? It was the feds. They're clutching at straws. He's thinking it's a setup. Is it Friday already? So who in the goddamn piss hell stole that fucking truck? Ugh. Who asked you, working man? <laughs> working man? Who's the gim? Roger, really. Roger. Yeah, I was just going to tell you to shut up. Well, <laughs> <laughs> so you did it. All right, now look. We've all been put up by this whole thing, right? Why don't you just calm down? What do you care what he has to say? I'm just talking here. Don't talk about doing another job in a prison. What about you, guy? So now I'd like to exercise my right to free assembly. Why don't you just shut up? I'm with Keaton on this one. You're missing the point. In these cases, it's always better to be quiet. From you. I don't care about your job. I want nothing to do with any of you. I beg your pardon. He doesn't want to be accomplice. What is the world coming to? If he hears the Fuck plan, him. if he hears the plan, he has an obligation probably to the police to um, and that was how it started. declare Five it. Five of us being brought in on a trumped up charge to be leaned on by halfwits. What the cops never figured out, and what I know now, was that these men would never break, never lie down, never bend over for anybody, anybody. So I feel like the, the perspective of the movie is from... Present day. I feel like the movie perspective is from uh, Rogers. The DA has a second guy, a uh, cripple from New York, I think. Listen, the chief wants this place sealed off. Yep. Well, Roger is a creeper. Crippler. I feel like I'm saying creeper, like a creep, but I'm not saying that. <laughs> Crippler. Clip Crippler. Why can't I see you? Dave, I told you. The DA came down here last night ready to arraign even before they moved into the county, okay? Misdemeanor too. What is that? I give the DA credit for getting that much, you understand? Excuse me, sir. Misdemeanor and weapons? Turn political. The mayor was here last night from up on high by the Prince of Darkness. Take my Prince of Darkness. Post <laughs> bail. Maybe two hours tops. Well, I want to see him. I came a long way for this. So he want to take the case? From what I can see, he wants to take like the Even case over. Let you talk to him, he won't talk to you. Just a friendly chat to kill some time. He will not go into the interrogation. Then someplace else. Then. Where? No, 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 no. He no. <laughs> his office. I want to know why. Twenty-seven men died on that pier for what looks to be ninety-one million dollars worth of dope that wasn't there. Hmm. I don't care how tough a guy you say this Keaton was. Nobody on that boat could have come out alive. Well, except the guy that shot Keaton, the one with the hat. He regained consciousness less than an hour ago. He spoke. Here, you got to put on one of these. Burn victims are very susceptible to infection. Hungarians, all right. And this is the second uh, survival, the one that was in the coma in the hospital, yes? Keep your mask up. Please don't touch him. Is he going to die? Is he dangerous? Yes. Do it. Yeah, Bayer, down in LA County. Uh, look, the guy that... This sounds like Hungarian. Yeah, call Dan Metzheiser over justice and find Dave Kuyan from customs. The only word I understood in Hungarian was Holgosh, uh, which means like shut your mouth or like shut up. But that's the only thing. If anyone speaks Hungarian and wants to put in the comment section what he said, we'll take it. It's a W in the YouTube community. This is Agent Kuyan from Customs. How about Dean Keen mostly? It's not Kuyan the one who... One time it got so bad my piss come out like snot. I'm not kidding, it was all thick and gooey. Get your fucking coffee. Get me one too while you're at it. Coffee dehydratates, actually. <laughs> that guy is tense. Tension is a killer. Is this the guy who was in Seven? Okay, Illinois. The villain in Seven? This guy named Kip Diskin? Sure. 
And I appreciate that. And I want to help you, Agent Kuyan. I like cops. Sure, 15 years ago, but he was a good thief. Anyway, the cops wouldn't let him go legit. Dean Keaton was a piece of shit. According to your statement, you need a light. <laughs> He's interrupting him all the time. According to your statement, you're a short con operator. Run a look. According to your statement, you're a short con operator. Okay. You know a religious guy named John Paul? You know Ruby's in Attica? Now, I know your testimony is sealed. Ruby's well connected. He's got a lot of friends inside, do a lot of favors for him. There's nothing in there about Ruby. I'll be sure to mention that to him. Ooh. Hey, on the job, you know what I learned? How to spot a murderer. You see, if you're guilty, you know you're caught. You get some rest. You let your guard down. You follow me? No. Oh, I definitely follow you. I'm smarter than you. Aha! And I'm gonna find out what I wanna know. And I'm gonna get it from you whether you like it or not. Mm, I don't know. I'm not a rat. I don't know if I would say that to like a sociopath or psychopath or stuff like that. Don't really tell them. Especially, I mean, maybe he's just trying to get a rise out oh, of we him. We used to make fresh coffee. Right off the trees, I mean. What happened after the lineup? This guy is playing his role excellent. I mean, can you believe that? You weren't even charged. Absolutely not. I'm gonna have this thing in front of the grand jury by Monday. Look, I don't want to talk about it, Eddie, okay? She's, she's, uh, she's the lawyer, yeah? the wife lawyer. So what did Fortier and Renault say? By next week, every investor in the city is going to be walking away from us. It's finished. I'm finished. He really did try, I feel, to turn his life around. Oh. Don't give up on me now, Dean. What if all of this cripple act is just an act? Ruined me in there tonight. And he actually you. can walk perfectly and, and stuff. Do you hear me? What? No, he doesn't. He doesn't. Just go to my place. Maybe he's actually thinking to do the hit. They're all watching him. <gasps> New York's finest taxi service. McManus has a friend in the 14th precinct. They're coming out for one job Thursday. You have to come. What's it to you whether I do it or not? They don't, they don't know me, you do. Uh, Look at me, I need this. This lawyer... Oh! <gasps> Sorry. Hey, it's okay. You're sure you're okay? I'll be all right. They do seem to be good friends, somehow. Do you think Roger would s stab Keaton in the back? Like, turn on him? Okay, yeah. Sometimes get forget it. it. I'll probably shit blood tonight. <laughs> How do they want to do it? McManus wants to go in shooting. I say no. <laughs> he did really mean. They're pretty pissed off. They'll do anything. Now I got a way to do it without killing anyone. But like I say, they won't let me in without you. So they're kind of like a package deal. Oh, Keaton, you had a good life. Why did you have to go and do unthinkable things? Maybe more. And this is how you convince people to do bad stuff. Cash. Everybody wants money, everybody likes money. New York's finest taxi service was not your normal taxi service. It was a ring. Of this guy looks like an informant. So, how was the flight? Fucking great. Mm. Keaton put on the finishing touch. A little fuck you from the five of us to the NYPD. Okay, so yeah, it's definitely from Richard. Watch this hole. Oh, oh. Rogers. Bam. Can you actually imagine having having a taxi service? Buckshot shampoo, chubby. Hurry up! Come on! There's no money. Give me the money right now, my There's no fucking money. Give me the fucking money! There is definitely money. Give him the money. What are you doing now, jerk off? <laughs> what the fuck was that? Holy shit! Uh, uh, it seems like it's gonna go in flames. The press was on the scene before the police were. Strauss this is like corruption, but like next level corruption. Two more cops went down with them. Everybody got it right in the ass, from the chief on down. It was beautiful. Huh. Ah, he's too fit. Bet it was. Dr. Keith. 
Fenster and I over Wait, 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 hold the fucking phone. You and Fenster? No, 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 no. You fucking kidding me? Okay, so, and who's gonna go? We all go. Hey, the job's over. Cool it. LA is a good place to lay low for a while. <laughs> you wanna dance? I mean, if job is over. Ladies. I lead. I would like to propose a toast. <laughs> the stair contest. To Mr. Verbal. The man with the plan. Wow. The flight. Don't do this. Send her a note, something. That has to be expensive as hell, right? But the thing is, how are they gonna like sell that without being traced back to them, right? Black market, maybe? She'll understand. I think he loves her. Keaton, I mean. <sighs> but will she? It's heartwarming. Really? I'm weepy. Jeff, you want to wait outside? You expect me to believe that he retired for a woman? He loved her. Sure. And I'm supposed to believe that hitting the taxi service... Why not? That was all Fenster and McQueen. Let me tell you something. I know Dean Keaton. IAD indicted him on three counts of murder before he was kicked off the force. Dean Keaton was under indictment a total of seven times while he was on the force. When they finally did nail him for fraud, he spent five years in Sing Sing. He killed three prisoners inside. Dean Keaton was dead. <laughs> did you know that? So maybe he didn't do it? The fire two years ago during an investigation into the murder of a witness who was going to testify against him. They said he went in to check a leaking gas main. The two witnesses, they were dead. So maybe he faked his death? One killed himself in his car. The other fell down an open elevator shaft. I have a noon meeting there. Yeah, okay, okay. Look, five minutes. Look, look, everyone Who just calm down. Who falls in an uh, elevator shaft? To ask this man about the shootout in the harbor. Uh, he says they were buying dope. <laughs> we know. It's a push hashish thought. This poor guy. He doesn't know what they were buying, but not dope. Uh, people. What? He needs guarantees. Yeah, what are you talking about? Guarantees. He knows his lives are in danger. Uh, he saw the devil. I'm on my way. No, no, no. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. The name, he said. He saw Kaiser Soze. Describe him. Uh, okay, uh, Mon Nekem, uh, uh, Now, because he never profited from his alleged death. I think that's like a, a person they really want to put behind bars. We had to let him go. This Soze. He was dead just long enough for the murder rap to blow over. I think you're covering his ass and he's still out there somewhere. You tell me he's dead, so be it. You know, back when I was in that barbershop quartet in Skokie, Illinois. You don't think I know you held out on the DA? What did you leave out of that testimony? His wife. You get no immunity from me, you piece of shit. Every creeping scumbag that walks the street for a living will know the name of Verbal Kent. Won't be worth the paper the contract put out on your life is printed on. There was uh, a lawyer. It's like forced confession in a way. Kobayashi. Oh, Kobayashi. Is he the one that killed Keaton? No. Not his wife who... Convince me. Tell me every last detail. That's like hard intimidation. And he's basically threatening him as well. We arrived in Los Angeles and met McManus's fence, Redfoot. He had a good reputation. Seemed like a good guy. Good, you? Not bad. I like this guy, the crazy guy. How's it going, Fister? We're always looking for extra work. We're on vacation. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, with all of that money you guys made. I got a made. ton of work and I don't have any good people. Not like you guys. What's the job? This is jeweler out of Texas named Saul. Anyway, the word is he carries around a lot of cash. So I figure I keep the merchandise, you keep the green. Simple. What about security? Mm, I don't know if that's really fair. Give me time to check it out. I expect nothing less from you, man. Good to see you. I mean, he, yeah, he gave Enjoy them LA, the huh? tip and Put such, but... A uh, friend of mine in New York tells me that you know uh, that you knew school cost. Too bad he got shipped. Yeah. Shiv? I shipped him. Oh. <laughs> Better you hear it from me now than from somebody else later. I appreciate that. Just out of curiosity, was it business or personal? You can give me a call if you're interested in that. I mean, I guess there is a code of respect that needs to be followed between them, even between criminals. That's a good one, Keaton. <laughs> you know, there are like criminals that don't do it for the money and can't change what he is they just do he it can for convince the anyone he's someone else feeling. but never himself it took one day with mcmanus nagging and we went back to work yeah some people just like this rush this planning this scheming these things get in the car stop. 
Give me the fucking case. Give me the fucking case. Some people just value money and richness over their Come life. On. That's sad. Hey, hey, don't move. Oh shit. But just hand over the case. Hand over the fucking case. Those was were good to double shots. He's not. Holy shit. Roger. Are you just wanna drive with the van with two bloody marks? Okay. Well this has to be before uh, security. Ooh. That's what he wants. Not not cash, not jewelry. Cocaine. Looks like a lot of China. <sighs> the problem is once you go into Guys, the whole uh, drug dealing, like I'm doing. distributing. I'm Look, we did it your way. Now we're gonna do it my way. Are you gonna kill him? It's very difficult to go out. I'm gonna do it. Just shut up. He did say that he used to run dogs. What am I supposed to do with that? I don't know, feed it to the gimp. He uses pain. I don't know what that is. What do you mean you shit. don't know? Shut up. He's a middleman for somebody, okay? Fuck you. Fuck you. Listen to me. We want to meet him. Okay? The lawyer. That's funny. Call me last night. He says he wants to meet you guys. Any more surprises, and I'm going to kill you. <laughs> That's a tough guy, McManus. Yeah. Do me a favor, right? Get the fuck off my fuck. dick. Who? Get Put a leash on that puppy. Sooner or later, they're going to come around asking me. Fuck you. Uh, so this lawyer, Kobayashi. Kobayashi. Dave, someone to see you. You don't go interrupt the line of interviewing. Hello. I've been looking all over for you. I've been in L.A. County talking to a guy they pulled out of a drain pipe in San Pedro yesterday after the shootout. But the ninety-one. Yeah, million. we know. But our man says no way on the dope. This Hungarian tells me the whole bunch was pulling stumps for Turkey the next day. They have no time to negotiate that kind of product and no means to move it. Key people. They're all very hush about it, he says. Whatever it was, I don't get it. What could it be? Yeah. Did he mention Kaiser Sosa? Who? Who? <laughs> Just bear with me here. Who is this Sosa? Who's Kaiser Sosa? Ah, oh, fuck. We've been going over this for an hour and a half. What the hell are we doing here? We're waiting. I think your guest is there already. Hot and I'm fucking bored. Mr. Hockney, do stay. I can only assume that you are Mr. Kint. Verbal. Disposed of Saul Berg. My employer sends his gratitude, a most unexpected benefit. What do you want? My employer requires your services, gentlemen. One job. Maybe Soze is his boss? We'll have $91 million to divide between you in any way you see fit. Who's your boss? All right. Let's see. I work for Kaiser Soze. OK. So this is the this they are talking right now about that boat heist or whatever deal it's happening. Who's Kaiser Soze? I feel sure the rest of your associates can tell you. Who is this Soze? From Mr. Soze, an order and which was destined for Pakistan to be used in a nuclear reactor, a most profitable violation of UN regulations. The plane was carrying gold and platinum wiring, also set for Pakistan. Everything is happening in Pakistan. Mr. Hockney stole a truck carrying gun parts through Queens. Which brings us to Mr. Kint. Less than intelligent couriers was taken in a complicated confidence scam by a cripple. Received <laughs> of $62,000. Okay. Now, it has taken us some time to find you. Holding the rest of you became a moot point. What about Redford? Mr. Soze rarely works with the same people for very long, and they never know who they're working for if one has no people. That's smart, actually. Don't keep anyone for too long around you. Because you have stolen you. from Mr. Soze, Mr. Fenster. All of you. The emeralds? Not know you stole from him is the only reason you are still alive. All right, <laughs> fuck the debt and fuck you. How do we know you work for Soze? I don't think that is very relevant, Mr. Hockney. And we can see to it that he will. Sale of $91 million in cocaine in three days' time. Needless to say, this purchase will revitalize the diminishing strength of their organization. Would like you to stop the deal. But they said that there was no cocaine on that ship. And then you will be free of your obligations to Mr. Soze. You give me one good reason why I shouldn't kill you right now. Probably if he goes missing. From Mr. Soze. If I hear Mr. Soze one more time, I'm going to lose my mind. Good day, gentlemen. Usually the messengers are getting almost all the time kills and such, so... 
the fact that this lawyer just walked in, walked out with his nuggies and his life. Fenster. It's like a, what, files on all of them with all of the things for, for, the, for the police or what is it? We got my whole life in here. Everything mm. I've ever done since I was 18. They got her under the radar and that's bad. Yeah. Kobayashi is using them for window dressing. I don't know. This is bad. Fucked up butcher. There is no Kaiser Soze. Mm. Who is Kaiser Soze? The greatest trick the devil ever pulled was convincing the world he didn't exist. One story the guys told me, the story I believe, to do what the other guy wouldn't. After the a part of will. They come to his home in the afternoon looking for his business. They've very nice way of waiting, I guess. He comes home to find his wife raped and children screaming. He tells him he would rather see his family dead than live another day after this. He lets the last Hungarian go. He waits until his wife and kids are in the ground, and then he goes after the rest of the mob. He burns down the houses they live in and the stores they work in. He's gone, underground. Nobody's ever seen him since. He becomes a myth, a spook story that criminals... I mean, it's a way of rat on your cutting pop, ties, but Kaiser, so they will get you. that's crazy. And no one ever really believes. Do you believe in him, Verbal? Keaton always said, is Kaiser Soze. Huh. <sighs> A lot of guys equate him to that reporter on the Incredible Hulk. Who the hell is Sose? That could be an old badge. You know, a hex sign. I told it like it happened on the boat, so what if I left out how I got there? Turn state's evidence. That's your line. We'll hear it out. I've got immunity now. What can you possibly offer me? Immunity was just a deal with you assholes. I got a whole new problem when I post bail. So why play into his hands? We can protect you. Mm-hmm. Gee, thanks, Dave. You think you can catch Kaiser Sose? My guess is you'll never hear from him again. What if he is actually Kaiser Soze? Like verbal, I mean. I mean, he's just playing in like. What happened next? In the in the open, you know. We woke up the next morning and Fenster was gone. That night we got the call. What call? Kobayashi told us where we could find Fenster. Fenster, Fenster, Fenster. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. We gotta bury him. With what? With our hands. Kobayashi doesn't seem to have a problem with it either. Yeah, he's gonna find you everywhere, anywhere you go. Now we're gonna be taking a hole for you, you got that? So fuck you. You own to your own life. We did more jobs, and I saw more money than you can ever count. So fuck you! Cause now it's payback! It's not payback! You're fighting for your own life here, you're not going for revenge. You want payback, you want to run, I don't care. This Kobayashi bastard is not gonna stand on me. Maybe if you like, bury him deeper into the cave. Nobody argued with Keaton. They just set their minds to whacking Kobayashi. So they just decided to go for the lawyer? The lawyer is just a messenger. It's not like he's really doing something. He's just the one that, you know. Let's just say he's the voice. Did you hear me? He's coming up. He's on his way down. <sighs> so basically until now this Soze has a problems with the Argentinians because those are his enemy into the dope world. Something that st stakes out to me was the fact that uh, Verbal said that he grew up in where in Colombia where he grew his own leaves uh, and coffees and stuff like that. You know, another South American country, Colombia is as well pretty notorious for their uh, narcotics business. Maybe there is something there with that little line. We don't know. We'll see. But it... it, it Press 20. Do it now. It's, it's, you know, remained in my head somehow. We'll, uh, we'll see where that goes. Move. In comparison to what will be done to me if I do not carry out my orders in full, I'm the guy that's gonna get you. Okay. He's uh, dead anyway if he doesn't do his job. You will let me finish my business with Miss Finneran first, won't you? Did business? You Edie Finneran. 
Yeah, his wife. Kill away, Mr. McManus. <laughs> ah. You're lying. Call her. Why is he not? Maybe they don't have. Maybe they do have mobile phones. Well, he's not lying. Miss Finland's escort. While she's here in Los Angeles, never leaves her side for a moment. I thought you'd be glad to know she's in good hands. Very good hands. One meter away, gonna strangle her uh, good hands. I might only castrate Mr. McManus's nephew, David. If you'll excuse me, gentlemen. I mean, they already had all of the details about their personal life. Of course, they're gonna take one of their family members or loved ones as collateral, you know, insurance. Did you hear what he just said? If I'm going in, I want to cut. Me too. There's nothing that can't be done. Mm, I mean, it's like what? I just can't believe we're going to walk into certain deaths. Four people against 30, 40, how many they said? The news said it's raining in New York. What language is that? I don't know. Hush. That guy is really smart, verbal. But he knows too much. That's why I'm suspicious of him. Because I feel like he knows way too much. They are definitely over manned. We are sniping. But man, you better be set up in 10 seconds. I mean, snipers are great and all, but they're not really that helpful in a group. If we don't get out of this, I want you to take the money and go. Case, right? Because you can only take one by one. In Romania, we say something like the sheep, no, the wolf can change its fur, but it will never change its habits. I think that's a good translation. I'm there. There was, a, at the beginning of the movie, there was another body next to, to him, to Keaton, I mean, that was dead. Remember brown shoes? I guess. Problem? This is international uh, sign of uh, keep moving. You cannot pass here. No puede pasar means you cannot pass here. Uh, it's better if you return. Now. Yeah, yeah, yo. Oh, okay. Elvis has left the building. Elvis. He just saved their life. Parkour. He just fell for the for the biggest trick in the book, you know, pretend that you're an ally, then bam, shoot. You admire the daisies for too long. I think he's Roger. And I think Roger want to take the whole hit for himself. Or if it's not Roger, then it has to be one of the one of the detectives, kinda, and do a, a, a setup, in a way. But it definitely has to be someone that knows about this mission. It can be as well the blonde guy, but I highly doubt it. I don't know. It's a little bit. It's a little bit too good that he got. Body on the beaches. What else? His name was Arturo Mar. Let's see, let's see. I'm gonna tell you. Argentina. He was arrested last year in New York for trafficking to advise on the proceedings. ED again. New York faxed me a copy of his testimony. He was a rat. Yeah, a big fucking rat. Snitches get stitches. So much so that he named close to 50. People. And they end up in ditches. There was no dope on that boat. So if there was. 
if there was no dope on the boat, what was it? Maybe an important person, money, information, enemies that we wanted executed. Oh, there are more important things that. I know he's here. Basically, this movie is about identifying who is Kaiser Soze. And honestly, until now, I have no freaking clue who this person is. The only one that it's looking really suspicious for me is this. Is this freaking uh, Roger? Otoko! But why is he so afraid of Soze, that guy? I think if we can replay, if we can reply to that question. Holy shit! So Soze is really here. Oh come on, give us a clue, a little clue. I was trying to like listen to the steps if the if the lag was maybe, um, you know. Well, I mean, I know he cannot be him, I guess, because he's outside. So, okay. Mars, the fuck is going on? Okay. Strangest thing. He's the one that died with the knife in his back. I mean, okay, so he's definitely he's he's definitely. <laughs> Roger is not Susie. We take that out. Now who the fuck is Susie? Come on, you see his face, no? And that's what you say in your statement. You saw a man in a suit with a slim build. Wait a minute. I don't have a minute. You know what I'm getting at, Verbal. I yes, don't know you what do. you're talking about. The truth. You had a gun? Why didn't you help him? He was your friend. He's a coward. Because I was afraid. Afraid of I knew it was Kaiser Soze. But keep it was you. Kaiser Soze, Agent Kuyen. I mean the devil himself. How do you shoot the devil in the back? With a gun. You shoot him with a gun. What if you miss? I just want to see his face. Oh, that's why we focused on in here. Because he was behind it. I didn't see any eyes. Or anything. I still don't see anything. Oh, now I see his eye. Now I see his eye. I definitely missed it. I throw Marquez, ever hear of him? But not exclusive to drug trafficking and murder. I never heard of him. I said I never heard of him. But Keaton did. Edie Finneran was Marquez's extradition advisor. She knew who he was and what he knew. Men, he knew we could march into certain death. You're saying Sose sent us to kill someone? Yep. I'm saying Keaton did. Verbal, he left you behind for a reason. Just do what I tell you. Finds it in his heart to save a worthless rat cripple? No, sir, why? Edie. I don't buy that reform story for a minute. Even if I did, I certainly don't believe he would send you to protect her. Why not? So why? He's smart, he can protect her. Because he was my friend. No, Verbal, he wasn't your friend. Keaton didn't have friends. The kind of man who could engineer a police lineup who could have killed Edie Finneran. <laughs> was found yesterday at a hotel in Pennsylvania, shot twice in the head. The one man that could identify him. You said you heard the shot before the fire, but you didn't see him die. Why not Fester and McManus? Because they're stupid. I'm stupid, I'm a cripple, why me? Because you're a cripple, Verbal. Because you're stupid. Because you're weaker than them. <laughs> I don't know, I think that Roger's pr quite smart, though. <laughs> I didn't know. I saw him die. I believe he's dead, oh. Right. You're not safe on your own. I don't know. I don't know, Verbal. You might never see trial. Maybe so. I'm beating but my I'm head with my with Korean. my ponytail that maybe some some more inspiration is gonna come to my head because right now I don't know. I'm, I'm too sus suspicious of Roger somehow because I don't think he's the stupid criminal he wants everybody to think. But in the same time. Okay. Keaton, Keaton could actually be Soze. But I always felt like he really did love uh, Eddie, his wife. One cigarette lighter, gold. One pack of 
Pack of cigarettes, thank you. One cigarette lighter, gold? Like the no, cigarette no, 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 lighter no, 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 no. Uh, the guy who shot Kitten used to, to put his cigarette on? I saw so say. If Kitten is alive, he's not coming up again. Come on. Come on. Just just say I'm right. Just say I'm right. Where's your head, Agent Kuyan? What we need to do is think. Some guy in California, his name is Redfoot. A gift from Mr. Soze. Buffy. I know you thought he was a good man. I know he was good. Guatemala, not Colombia, sorry. I work for Kaiser Soze. Convince me. Convince me. Convince me. He definitely did convince you. But he convinced you of what he wanted. Whether you like it or not. To a cop, the explanation is never that. You know what I'm getting at, Virgo, the truth! What I want to know is who's the gimp. You know, you run the whole fucking time! Those guys are supposed to get rid of me. And I'm sure Keaton is dead. I can't feel my legs. Kaiser. You got the crippling up in New York. Yeah. Ha ha! Who? After that, my guess is you'll never hear from him again. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is your reactor. I hope you're proud of me. <laughs> I I told you I, f I felt that he knew way too much information. He was way too was convincing the world he didn't yeah. exist. And like that. But that was very beautiful. He's gone. Very beautiful movie. I feel like you can get tricked if you just kind of like get tricked by the fact that he's a cripple and you're thinking oh he couldn't basically uh, do all of this how can he like go down the ladder if he's a, a cripple or how can he shoot like that if he's a cripple right but what we usually have to understand is that he was a criminal criminal still criminal lie criminal do whatever they need to pull out the the stuff for it to happen so that that was my 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 first thing right after that i don't know i always felt like he was too informed he knew like all of the things like for example i'm just gonna give you an example right now oh what language are they speaking and the uh kitten was like oh i don't know and then roger was like ah hungarian or like like these kind of like small little details here and there that made me think that he was way smarter than he wanted people around him to notice and especially you know he really did play into hey i'm stupid i'm a cripple i i'm protected i got immunity i'm uh, you know giving all the information i'm playing into the hand i'm and it, it was it was pretty confusing of course the fact that he was never showed into like the the scene where the killing was actually happened but he was always nearby i was like how the hell is he putting that you know but and as well as well as well another thing that stood out to me was the fact that when the lawyer took each person like a like each suspect they took a family member he said oh i got your uncle in i don't know where the hell uncle this is like the closest you you could get as a you know hey if you don't do this i'm gonna kill your relatives i mean don't get me wrong i love my aunts and uncles as well but i feel like you know a nephew that is maybe like a child or something like this is a little bit more close to your heart a wife a sister an uncle <laughs> This is this is this is what I was thinking the whole time I was watching. And I, I said it from the beginning. I felt like he was sus in my in my books. He was sus. <sighs> but it was a good movie. Four stars. Easy, easy, four stars. I really did enjoy it. I hope you guys enjoyed the reaction. I hope I didn't disappoint. I hope you you I don't know, maybe you watch the movie now from a different perspective or you notice different things. I love the most how they how he built when he was uh, interviewed the second time, basically. When he was interviewed, how he built a story based on what he saw in that room like redford and and kobayashi and uh, the guatemala leaves and that was super creative and super fun of course to watch and see and it's it was really good it was really really good i hope you guys enjoyed the reaction if you did don't forget to like and subscribe you can see the full length reaction on my patreon have an amazing day and i will see you next time bye bye